Hey y'all, Real Deal Neil, Aikens Ford, Wild Willys, custom accessories. Today we got another legacy day. Hey, we got King Ranch Edition action going on. Look, I even got King Ranch, by gosh, Jesse, look, King Ranch Woo. belt. Hey y'all, hey, hey, Jesse Cash, he's even got his boots and his gear on too. We are ready. So legacy day for us y'all means we're building our legacy. It's plain as that. This truck's going to Ohio. Ed Needs, great guy, farmer up there in Ohio. Hopefully I'll kill me a big buck at this place very, very soon. This truck right here, you're going to love it. Let's go. y'all the hick voice is gone we got a great customer getting ready to pick this bad boy up today very excited about it mr ed needs now this is a king ranch truck so all of our get up today is about the king ranch inspiration you know a king ranch truck first of all i'm from tacoa georgia so i got the country in me y'all now i'm from the northeast part of georgia and this is right up our alley as far as just a beautiful uh, elegant ranch style truck the platinum trucks we've done in the past is all about the luxury elegance to it the king ranch is about the ranch country elegance so a phenomenal truck uh, right there with the platinum just a different overall style so keep that in mind when we go over this truck today so let's dive right in y'all uh, obviously up front let's talk about this big bad beautiful kelderman setup um, and grill combination so all of the grills on the F450s, regardless of the package, have the same grill. Whether it's a, a Platinum, King Ranch, or Limited, they have the same grill. Uh, we opted for the Limited grill. So Jesse, show them a good look at the Limited grill. So a very rare combination that you don't find. This is off of a 250 or a 350, the Limited grill. Uh, basically, it has the same horizontal bars, but the difference is this main big bar across the center there. It just looks more iconic and unique. It is a leg legacy day for us in that we're building another truck that's just adding to our overall legacy. So this is a, a detail that we had to do. Um, so basically we left all the chrome, but the back part of it is typically textured black. So we painted all of that star white to match the back lay. Uh, also your emblem surround, we did the same thing, star white, did the blue to star white, left the chrome. Uh, rightfully so, just looks phenomenal. Uh, the Kelderman Alpha Series bumper is just a big, bad, substantial, beautiful front bumper, very sturdy. We did the chrome package. You got chrome tow hooks, chrome grill, your fair lead and hook are chrome as well. We have the Warren uh, Xeon 12S Platinum uh, went, so it has the wilder remote suit as well. So I know Ed's gonna love that. Now Ed's a farmer, so I think he's actually gonna use the winch potentially in the truck. Uh, I don't know, Ed, you tell me. The truck's so beautiful. I don't know, you go, this thing will be on the farm or not. I, it'd be hard for me to, but it can do whatever you want it to. Now, as far as our headlights, so headlights, this was chrome, chrome throughout, and this was actually amber, so we removed the amber. Even on the, on the side here, we took the amber away and did star white inlay around the headlight. Uh, and as I said, removed the amber here on the side. And then this side badge right here showing this, Jesse, this is typically that uh, amber side lens we removed that did star white behind that uh, because you know guys it's all about the details real deal we, we know about the details uh, we've got rigid lights uh, we got a flood light and a driving light combination here which uh, in the center stack looks great on both sides uh, for added visibility and just it looks looks phenomenal um, of course this star white yes you show them show them this star white just lustering and sparkling in the sun how amazing is that that just looks so phenomenal y'all gotta love that now over here get a little bit better lighting uh mirrors let's go mirrors so this is a texture black we removed the texture did a star white on that did recon side markers 
to remove the amber on that part. Left the chrome cap. Y'all, there's so much work. Probably about eight hours goes into removing texture, prepping, and taking care of these mirrors. So there's a lot of prep work that goes on uh, behind this build. Uh, our side badge here, this was texture black as well. We removed that and did star white. Did star white around the King Ranch surround as well. So just a truly next level side badge for you. Um, Kelderman. Kelderman. Y'all know that we love Kelderman lifts. We love all lifts, basically, that we know are, are high integrity, but the Kelderman Air Ride, we love because of the ride quality. The ride quality on this truck is so phenomenal. Let's take a look at some ride quality. My gosh, y'all, we're in this F450 King Ranch. King Ranch means it's the king. When you got the King Ranch, you're the king. We're riding on Kelderman 5.6 Air Ride, like a dream in the King Ranch. Now one of the great things about the Kelderman, I know y'all didn't feel that, but we just ran over a Toyota Prius. Didn't even feel it, unbelievable. When you got the King Ranch on the Kelderman, you at the top dog. You know we talk about next level, this truck is the definition of. We're riding down the road, 60 miles an hour, I can just flick, kick, oh, well, hang on, whoa, but I can just hold back, no steering wheel. This thing rides so smooth, tried and true. When you're in the power stroke, you're in paradise. Check out all this power. You still got plenty of it, over a thousand pounds of torque. By gosh, all you need on 24. So ride quality, y'all, is, is top notch. We love the way it rides and still can tow and haul. We've got so many customers pulling 40 foot plus campers, tractors, trailers galore. This handles it flawlessly. So our Kelderman front lift component, we've got the top bracket. There's your uh, air ride bag. There's your Raptor shocks from Kelderman specifically tuned. You got dual steering stabilizers as well, uh, stainless brake lines. You got a Kelderman radius, radius arm in the back, high integrity as well. Just looking so phenomenal and great. Oh yeah, all there, uh, wheel and tire combo. This was very important to get this right on this truck. We wanted to go with the theme of the chrome and the star white, so we put the 20 foils on the King Ranch. We got the American Force Pulse. You know we love this wheel. This is an, in a polished look. We, this actually comes texture black, so we did star white on the American Force and the star. 37, 13 and a half, 24. I love some 24s, y'all. 24 to me is so legit. And uh, basically anything, anything big is, is what I love, but the 24s, special place for it. So we got uh, 37, 13 and a half, 24, Toyo Open Country, mud terrain tire. If we put a ridge grapper on here, y'all could have y'all could have just dogged me out because that would not have been the right tire at all. Had there been a mud terrain tire, I'm glad Ed was on the same page with us. Looks phenomenal, y'all. Uh, Jesse, let's step back and give him a good side shot. Probably there's so many great uh, shots on this one, but this right here is just so substantial. It looks great. Now, while we're here, I'm gonna take you guys through the sequence. Uh, right now, it's at the ride height, so it's at that five to six inch mark for the optimal ride quality. I'm gonna show you taking it down to the, the lowest amount, and as far as the tallest also. Let's check this out. Y'all, I feel at home in this King Ranch. Got my hat on, I love this. So we're at ride height right now, which is that five to six inch mark. Let's go all the way up, big boy status, to that 10 inch mark. She goes up and looks phenomenal. So if you just want to stunt in the parking lot, you got that capability. Now let's go all the way down. It's a self-leveling apparatus to where if you're towing or hauling, it'll automatically adjust to the, the right rod height setting. Uh, what makes this lift so special? You know we had to do the you know we had to. You know we had to. Now I'm going back up to ride height. I scared Jesse. I scared Jesse. I scared him. I wasn't expecting it. I scared him a little bit. You didn't say nothing about the train horn, and then you just hit it. I was like, good. Luck. It works every time, y'all. The train horn's phenomenal. Gotta love that. Um, out back, we got our four-link component. 
from Kelderman. Now you can run just a four link air ride in the rear uh, at a ride height setting if you want to. If you just want to improve your towing capability and not uh, be so expensive on the kit, you can do that. But this is of course the full Monty as far as the baddest kit available for us. So uh, here's a good look of the four link out back. Uh, this particular uh, piece here is part of your sensor for uh, acclimating your ride height. There's your uh, Raptor shocks. A remote reservoir. We also have an MBRP exhaust with chrome tip. Looks phenomenal. And how about the deep dish? Are we eating, are we eating pizza today? Me and Jesse always eat lunch together, so we might have to eat pizza today for the Chicago style. for the deep dish, baby. We got the full 12-inch lip there, 24s. That looks so phenomenal. I love that lip. I love the polish. If you don't like polish, that's okay. But I grew up when a time that. Chrome and polish was the stuff, and I don't think it's ever gonna go out of style. I mean, black looks great too, but this truck just deserved a polished wheel, for sure. Uh, check out these tail lights. Check these bad boys out. Now, we did the uh, border perimeter paint in Star White. We covered the blind spot uh, monitor system in Star White. 100% legal, 100% fully functional, all of your, all your applications, and the tailgate. Y'all know I love the rear. Y'all know I love that rear. Look how, look how substantial. So this was that brush. Uh, applique back here so we basically removed all of it but kept the king ranch and super duty uh the, the platinum applique style and then did the rear emblem on the forward style to match also this particular piece here is the texture black looks so cheap we uh got rid of that did star white there another alpha bumper out back with got your backup sensors your chrome chrome hooks and this is something we're starting to incorporate this is a ready to use air system. So if you want to use or power up any kind of system that requires air, you've got an air on board ready to roll. So this is something we've added uh, on our first ever uh, reserve edition, just a, a upgrade that we want to just uh, give to our customer for a convenience factor. Jesse, so I'll probably show, I won't hit it again. Let's show them the train horns underneath there. And then that's where your air system uh, is, is housed at as well. You got rigid lights in the back bumper too. Uh, you got an Aikens liner guaranteed for life. Looking so great, full capability. We did a recon third brake light uh, up that way as well. Uh, just cleans everything up. Now mild to wild scale. Let's show them mild to wild. So we're pretty aggressive, y'all. These American Force wheels, they have, uh, they're, uh, it's an adapter. There's an adapter that goes on there. So they do stick out more than like a true Forge Auto bolt-on application. So I actually like the offset. I like the stance on it um, and the added width that it gives you. I think it just looks so big boy and substantial. So I really do love uh, the way this application sits t uh, completely. Now let's show them some of the inside about the, what makes the King Ranch so special. You just got uh, a different overall vibe and theme. The Platinums usually have that dark Marsala or black interior, and the King Ranch just has that cattle ranch inspired theme going on. They used to do true King Ranch leather back in the day, which was a, a very great product, but it was so hard to keep clean and maintain. It got uh, dry and brittle and cracked a lot. so. I'm kind of glad that they've got a different leather, but with the same look. So I think it works very well. And you've got wood grain accents and brown interior, uh, hardly any black at all. Uh, we've got our train horn device set up here. So you can use the normal horn or your train horn. This is a purge for your air system. And there's your air ride components located there as far as how to adjust everything out. It's a clean system. It doesn't take up much space at all. It just looks so phenomenal. And lastly, y'all, uh, the processes that we go through with our customers is something that truly hits home to my heart. Um, they're great customers that we deal with and the beautiful trucks speak for themselves. Here we've got the lights going on up front. I want to show you the signature lighting as well and then the lights out back and we'll wrap this thing up. All right, so you got your uh, driving light and your spotlight there. The daytime signature lighting looks so phenomenal. The clearance lights are now uh, white and not amber. Now let's show them out back, these lights out back. Side markers as well have been cleared with recon lights. And then you got your rigid lights out back too. Looking so great, y'all. So to summarize, we love what we do, if you can't tell. Thank you very much. We've got more and more trucks coming to you very soon. You gotta stay tuned for it. Me and Jesse aren't slowing down. We've got so much more to film, and we're, we're so blessed and thankful that you customers reached out to us and trust in us for all of your vehicle needs, especially you, uh, Mr. Ed Needs. I'm looking forward to meeting you today, sir. Uh, for, for everything auto, hit subscribe and, and stay tuned for everything we got going on on our YouTube channel. 
uh, because we, we keep videos rolling out on the daily, y'all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Real Deal, Jesse Cash, peace.